Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about writing jobs in Scheduler. Uh, so I'll talk about the Scheduler APIs. I'll explain how you can write a Scheduler using a job interface. And I'll explain how you can write a multiple jobs within the same Scheduler. And we'll have a proper demo or a live coding session. Uh, so there is a ORG Apache Sling Common Scheduler API. Uh, which used to write schedulers in AEM. So there's two ways of writing scheduler by implementing runnable interface or by implementing job interface. So this, the first one, this I have already explained in last tutorial, tutorial number 40. So in this tutorial, I talk about uh, writing scheduler using job interface. Uh, to write scheduler using job interface, you have to give job that class in service in at the rate component notation, and I have to implement job interface the method that will be executing for the scheduler is execute method which has a parameter called job context and using the scheduler options you will be defining the behavior how it will execute the scheduler okay now let's uh, compare the code uh, about the scheduler and the scheduler what we wrote using the runnable interface Okay, so the only difference is here you are in uh, service is job job dot class and here is runnable dot class and you are implementing job uh, interface and here is a runnable interface and the method uh, which execute for uh, for scheduler is in case of runnable it's a run it's a run method and here is the execute method but you will see a difference here in job interface there is a parameter available job context for execute method but in case of runnable it's not so we'll see what the purpose of this parameter job context or this object so i have a osgi configuration where i'm getting this cron dot expression you understand cron like this this is the cron expression which define when this should do level will execute okay so right now i have set to be executed at 40 seconds let me deploy and let's see so you will be seeing here my scheduler is executing at a predefined time now you must have a question when i can write a scheduler using runnable interface then why aem give you another option why two options so we'll dis see this what is the purpose of giving this job interface we'll understand this using this scenario uh, so I have a component and I have a scheduler. This component display COVID-19 patient data. So this scheduler fetch the data from some service and update the data in that component. So I'm running three countries sites, India, Germany and US. So this scheduler execute at midnight, should execute at midnight and fetch some uh, COVID patients data from some service. So. Uh, my server is in India. So for India, it's fine, right? I will schedule it at 12 o'clock. It will execute. But the problem with the German and US, because how will you execute that at midnight? So if you convert their time to IST time, it is 4.30 a.m. and 1.30 p.m., right? So your scheduler should execute 12 a.m., 4.30 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. So you cannot schedule it uh, by a period, right? You cannot uh, run this scheduler uh, at, at a interval of six hours or four hours. So now you must have solution like you should think like, okay, I will write three schedulers and I will run each scheduler uh, at 12 o'clock, 4.30 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. Your solution is correct, but this is not the optimized solution, right? Uh, suppose take example tomorrow you will get two more sites right you will be having two more countries so in that case you have to write another two schedulers right now you should think different so now you must have a question okay can i write jobs for each country answer is yes so you can write job for one job for each country okay and later on if you Add it two more countries you can write two more jobs for that dynamically okay so let me show you how you can do that uh, so i created three schedule options one for india i created this schedule option and i give the cron job so right now i'm hard coding it i'll tell you how i generated this and one for the german and one for the us so how as i explained you earlier how you can generate cron job so there is a site available cron maker go to that site and you can generate a cron as per your need okay right now i'm saying okay i want to execute this uh, 
job at 4.34 or something. So you can go to the daily every day and choose your time. What time you want to execute this job. So that way I generated it. Suppose I want this uh, job to be executed at 4.34. So you can choose 16 means it's a 24 format and generate crawl. So I created this now. So it will this the first job will execute at 434. Second job will execute 437, and the third job will execute at 439. So there will be the three job will be executing. Okay. So let me just build it. So if you see the sling uh, status, you will be seeing there is a three job generated. One. 2 and 3. So because you added 3 jobs, you will see in the console 3 jobs. So jobs are executed at predefined time. Jobs are executed at 16, 34, 37 and 39. Right? But now you must have a question. How you can pass your job specific data? Because this method does not know which job is executing. And in our case, we will be having different service URL for different countries. Right? India. For India data, I am hitting a different service and same different for German and US. So <coughs> this method should know. So now for that case, this job context comes into picture. Uh, you can add job specific custom variables or custom information to this job context for each job. Let me show you how you can do that. For each schedule options, you can add your configuration. Okay, let me add for in there is a method available dot config and it takes a map inside map you can pass your information what you need to pass for this method okay config so I have added one map I created one map I added a variable country and value is in and the URL is www.in.com the same way I created for other countries as well. Now in execute method, you can access this job context. Job context has a method called get configuration. Now this get configuration will give you this whole map what you added. And from this map, you can get these values country and URL. So what happened when this, this job will be executing these values will be available here right when another job will be executing the second one this for Germany this will have Germany specific values and same for the next time it will have US specific values so now your execute method will know which job is executing and you can pass or you can write based on that so it will hit that service it pass on that URL and will get data for Germany or for US or for the specific country uh, so I updated this uh, cron job manually and let's me deploy it so these values will when this method will execute these values will print in logs uh, so it executed only for US because I did not update code for other countries other jobs let me update that and let me build it one more time See the job has been executed and each job has their respective value. The first country is India, second one country is Germany DE and third is US. So each job now have the job specific data. Okay. Now here is a task for you. How you can make this more future ready? Suppose tomorrow I add two more sites and so that how you can dynamically add these two jobs. So Please do it. Let me explain a bit how you can do. Create a factory OSGI configuration and inside factory OSGI configuration create one instance of that configuration for each country. Create three configuration for these three jobs. Right. And in that configuration keep three parameters. Right. Three, three fields for one for the cron uh, expression, one for the country and one for the URL. And, and I print those configuration here using loop and create a job for one value right inside that loop okay so suppose you add two more sites so just add two more configuration and those configuration you your loop will be handle it and create those jobs itself okay please do it but this by yourself that's your task
I hope you understood this. You won't find this concept uh, anywhere. Means hardly you will find this. So if you have any question, please do comment. Thank you very much.